Uh, I have a question. When's fat too fat? I think it, it's too fat when you reach 700 pounds, and that's when you say, Oh, I think I might need to lose weight, which happened to Karen Ferguson. She's been worried about being bedridden because of her bed, so of getting infected, and her ass is not being able to do anything. She's been immobilized by her size. She hasn't been able to go to um, nursing homes because of Medicare. But honestly, that's, she thinks it's because it wasn't a red tape for the Medicare. It's because of her enormous size. And I think that's what's going on. Her ass was keeping her out of a nursing home. And honestly, I don't think she should be able to go to a nursing home. I think she should be able to get herself a treadmill and start walking. And people will say, well, you're not the skinniest person in the world. And I know that. When I was reaching 290-some pounds, I thought to myself, I need to get my ass a little bit slimmer. And that's what I did. I started walking and lost around 40, 50 pounds just walking around my town. What this, what this woman should have been thinking about 300 pounds ago is, maybe I should get my fat ass out of my house, out of the recliner, and start walking. Her immense size has given her diabetes and bed sores because of her immobile ass. Her, her immobile, immobile ass. Her non-locomotor ass. Um, she suffers from other health concerns because of her size. Um, she finally left her home with the help of a local ambulance crew. Um, wow, this is, uh, she hasn't been, this is, it's the first time she's been out of her trailer in a year. Wow. That's a special kind of fat. <clears throat> yeah, she was on a, a Texas subsidiary of CBS and she was pleading for help um, for public help and um, and she's been accepted to a clinic um, she needs helps with uh, getting her ass to a portable toilet um, which is just steps from a large chair that was built to hold her weight I think that's when you know you got a fat ass when you have a chair meant specifically to hold your ass. And maybe she should have thought of this before she became 700 pounds. And she wants pity and she wants people to help her lose weight and shit like that. No, you don't deserve pity. You're fucking 700 pounds. 300 pounds ago, you should have said, maybe I should get out more. Maybe I should eat less. Maybe I shouldn't be such an amorphous blob. But, God damn. I'll put a link to the description so you can see what this woman looks like. Ah, oh, God. It's just horrifying. Um, someone actually, one of the paramedics said that she has the abilities to get out and get better. It's all a matter of her willpower, and I believe she's got it. Honestly, if she's 700 pounds, maybe she doesn't have the willpower to get out anywhere. Um, it's just horrible. And she's been, she said that she's afraid of becoming bedridden. Uh, for the rest of her life because of the bed sores are festering and as her body deteriorates. That's the worst thing she could ever imagine. How about, I don't know, becoming fatter? She's almost half a ton. Damn. Uh, she's asked officials about rehabilitation, but there's too many red tapes. She said, but when it boils down to it, it's, it wasn't red tape, it was my size. No fucking duh. No duh. No duh. No fucking duh. It's your size. When your ass is so large, you can't get out of a chair and walk around your own home? Yeah, that be, that means your ass is a hindrance. That means you need to get out more, or walk in place, or get a treadmill, and walk 
in place or run in place. Do something. I don't think this woman deserves pity. I think she deserves merciless ridicule to get her ass in gear. No pun intended. But honestly, pity is not going to, going to do this woman any good. Ridicule is. Keeping her accountable of her own fucking size is going to keep her motivated to lose the weight. Not pitying her and saying, oh, she's a victim, she's this, she's that, oh, she's a victim of circumstance. No, 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 blah, 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 blah. If I can lose weight and I am the most immobile motherfucker probably you'll ever see besides this woman, um, I don't get out much anymore. And I'm probably gaining more weight back. But once I reach a specific weight, I'm going to slim down. And I'm actually going to exercise more as uh, as school lets out in the summer. I'm going to get out more, walk around more, and generally do the things that I did in Newton. Um, but this woman doesn't even get out and doesn't get up and walk around her own house because she's gotten so big. Maybe she should have walked around a little bit more and maybe she wouldn't be in the predicament she is. But really... I can't believe people are feeling pity for her that she weighs 700 pounds. It's not, it's, maybe it's partly genetics, but it's mostly on her because she ate either too much or didn't remain active enough. And that's why she becomes such an amorphous ass. And people are going to say, you're mean. No, I'm trying to motivate her to get her ass in gear. I'm trying to make her lose weight. Don't pity her. Tell her the fucking truth. Because the truth can do more, but, uh, more, um, can do much more than the false, pity, pitiful excuses you can throw at her. Pity is worse than the truth. The truth is the best medicine, not laughter, not all this other shit. Truth is the best medicine in this kind of case. Because she needs it. But I'm Resonator Zen. I am a really fat fuck, but nowhere near as fat as her. Peace out.